What time did he get in? Don't know. Des, I can't just turn me back on him. I mean, if what you say is true, that... Well, all right, it is true. I wish it wasn't. Then he's gonna need the money more than ever. Yeah, but why? Is it so he can get himself out of this mess? Are you just gonna be helping finance more drug deals? Well, I don't want to be doing that. I know. Oh, I'm sorry, Des. You don't deserve this. We're married. <sighs> Share everything. Oh, it's you. Oh, good morning. Oh, you <laughs> frightened me to death. Anyway, what are you doing? Mm. Well, I'm cooking your breakfast, aren't I? Which I was going to deliver to you in bed. Well, I still will, if, if you want to go back. No, I don't. Look, Alec, we're going to have to get some at Sawyer because I can't be doing with you creeping about the place all the hours of the night and day. I was not creeping about. I was walking in a normal, upright manner. Anyway, what's the point of us having a door if neither of us can come through it? I'm not saying that neither of us can't come through it. I'm saying it would be nice to have a bit of notice. Oh, I've got to make an appointment now, have I? Oh. Don't go all grumpy on me, Alec. Oh, grumpy. I thought so I'm grumpy and, and, and I creep about. I'm surprised you want me anywhere near. Look, cooking breakfast, Alec, was a nice idea. Mm. Only next time, do you think you could tell me the night before? Oh, yes, yes, I will. I, I'll not only give you a day's notice, I'll give you three days' notice in writing. Will one copy be enough or do you want another for your solicitor? Someone going to tell me what's going on? What's going on is that Des has told me about the drugs. Cheers, mate. Which I should have done from the start. Why, Tony? What made you get involved in something like that? Like what? Drugs! Same reason as anyone else that's in business, just trying to make a living. In business. But these are drugs, Tony. They, they kill people. And so does alcohol, and you sell that. Oh, come on. All right, drugs happen to be illegal. Only difference. Yeah, well, it's a pretty big difference. No, not really. I mean, I'm not an addict. I don't know what he's been telling you, but all I am is a businessman. Oh, I've had enough of this. Look, we both know everything. All right, your mother knows what you're doing. I know how you con money out of her. So stop trying to play us off against each other. Understand? Sure. Will you be all right? Yeah. I'll see you dinner time. Bye. Glad you know. So why didn't you tell me? I didn't know how. But now you do know. You know it's not like he says. I'm not conning you. It's money I've got to have. It's money I need. To buy more drugs? No, I'm out of that. Or at least I will be as soon as I pay back what I owe. And this is to give to other drug dealers? Ma'am, either I pay them or they'll kill me. Look, when you found me, when I was beaten up in here, that was a warning. That's what they do. That's the way they are. Oh, God, don't. Yes, I know, but what else can I do? Look, I've got to pay him back. It's the only way I'm going to get out of it. But if you were in London... It wouldn't matter where I was. They'd still find me. So, how much do you owe? Well, after what you gave me last time, about four grand will cover it. <gasps> you know, I'd given myself all morning to pack. Yeah. Finished. What, is that because you're a quick packer or because you haven't got much? I haven't got much. Mm. I am really nervous. It's like getting married again, but worse, I know it can go wrong. Which is why it won't. No. So, when are you setting off? About six. Later than I wanted, really, but Michael's got lots of stuff to do. Give me a chance to say some goodbyes. You're going to see Jim again? Yeah, yeah, I'll bob in at the last minute. We said all we had to say yesterday, but I'm going to ring him every week. I can't leave him completely behind, not after what he's been through. Ah. 
Okay. Thanks. Bye. I'm gonna be at least a week, but she thinks no more than two. Then I'm dead. I mean, forget it. I'm dead. Will you stop saying that? It's still true. They said a week max. Well, no, I said a week max, and they sort of agreed. But that's max. I mean, I can't say, oh, can you wait a bit longer while my mum sells her house? You heard me on the phone to the estate agent. I said, how soon can I have the money? And she said that... Well, I told you what you said. She said it's gonna be too late. So what can I do, eh? Come on, Tony, what do you expect me to do? Well, can't you borrow it? <gasps> Four thousand pounds! Look, you know you've got your money come from the house, so get onto the bank and tell them you need four grand for a couple of weeks. <sighs> you've turned into such a wheeler dealer, haven't you? Ma'am, please. Well, I'll try. I can't say more than that. I appreciate it. You're not going to tell me, are you? Well, there's, there's nothing to tell. Was it a live model? Yes. With no clothes on? Well, um... Don't tell me you didn't notice. Well, un under the circumstances, being an art class, it, it, it seemed perfectly natural. She had no clothes on. Hiya. I don't often see you in here at this time. Oh, he's brought me in from the coffee break. Ah, oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, so uh, can I have two coffees, please? Yeah, sit down. I'll bring them over. Nice, right, thanks. So, are you going again? Well, well I'll, I'll have to speak to Hayley. We, we, we were hoping to do a conversation in Spanish. <sighs> Lee, to be honest with you, I've asked you across because I actually want me to have a word with you. What about? Look, this is coming from him, all right? It's not me. What? Well, do you think you could lay off Zoe a bit? Stop having a go at her about this foundation thing she's getting into. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mum. How are you? Um, all right? Yeah, great. Fine. Oh, so I'm just supposed to pretend it's all right when she says she's got a job, which isn't really a job, just really trailing around with a load of old loonies who think the old world's going to end next week. Just say, oh, hey, Zoe, that must be ace. And what exact qualifications did you need? A certificate so you'd had your brain taken out? Look, I only told Ash I'd ask you. Yeah, well, you can tell him no. He can lie to who he likes, but I'm going to come out and say what I think. He reckons it's helping to get over Shannon. <laughs> How? I don't know, but that's why he's going along with it. He thinks it's helping to come to terms. Um, look, I'm just gonna go and get some cold water for this, all right? Back in a second. Uh, <clears throat> Roy, mate, you, you haven't said anything, have you? No, no, no. <clears throat> you, you can rely on my absolute discretion. And Hayley, she won't. Oh, no, no, Hayley wouldn't even tell me. I mean, not that she has to, because I already know. But if, if I didn't, she, she wouldn't. Right. So it's gonna be a whole new life. Yeah, which I, well, I was going to say, I hope it turns out better than my old one, but if it's half as good, I'll be lucky. Oh. I was, um, I was thinking about Shannon. Your baby, yeah. Well, will I really get to see her again? Yeah, of course you will. A baby is the purest of spirits. And will she still be a baby, you know, just to stay like she was? Well, we'll all be babies. And we'll all be fully grown. It's one of the mysteries that will only become clear in the life beyond life. Anyway, do you know where I was thinking we might go today? To your neighbourhood. Why? To let them see that we're not trying to take you away from them. That we're giving them every chance to listen, just as you've listened. Yeah, but they won't. They think it's all daft. Well, let's give them the opportunity. Whether they take it is up to them. There you go. Thank you. And get one for yourself. Oh, I'm forgiven, Emma, for trying to mollycoddle you with breakfast in bed, then. Not yet. What time you get out of here? Oh, about half three. Well, come through for a cup of tea and we'll talk about things then. Sort out a few ground rules. Right. Rita? Yes? I've just come to say to her. <gasps> you know I'm going to I Milton Keynes. I do. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I hope you'll be very happy there, love. Oh, she just likes the normal food hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. You know about paint fumes, don't you? Paint fumes? Yeah. Don't you worry about it, Betty Love. Whatever he doesn't know about it, I do. Mm. Only, you see, I'm having my house repainted inside and out. It's giving me terrible headaches. Paint fumes? 
That's drink, that is. I beg your pardon? I mean, it's a good excuse, yeah. I might use it myself one day. But come on. No, no, you're right there, Betty. Them paint fumes, they can get to you, can't they? Oh, thank you. Well, it makes a change from blaming your hangover on a bad pie, doesn't it? Very good, though. Paint fumes? Yeah. Oh. But what can I do about it? Well, there's nothing you can do except stay out of them. I don't know how I'm going to manage to do that. Yeah, she's a game old bird, that one, isn't she? Gary? Hello. Hiya. Is Judy going to be in today? Oh, well, I thought so. She's not going to be out jogging, is she? <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say a try to her, really. You know, I'm leaving. I'm moving away. No. Honest. Yeah. New life, new man. Hey! And what's wrong with the fellas round here, like? Too shy, I suppose. Oh. Would you credit it? I was thinking of having a crack at that, and now it's too late. Hey, she'll never know what she's missed. Hey, what time did she say she was leaving? I'd forget it, Les. You've got more chance with Betty and her paint fumes. So? Do you want a pint? I want to know what's happening. But go on, yeah. I'm going to go to the bank and see if I can borrow on the strength of the house sale. Then he can pay off his debts and hopefully make a fresh start. Which, of course, you don't agree with. What do you expect me to? Des, what else can I do? He's my son. Look, I'll tell you something, shall I? All drug dealers have mothers. It doesn't stop them being drug dealers. OK, so what am I supposed to do, eh? Kick him out? Yes, kick him out. Let him sort his own life out before he makes a mess of ours. Hiya. We've just, um, we've called to share some time together and reflect on what little time we all have remaining. I've already told him all that. He didn't believe it. I've not had a chance to think about it. I'm not proper. So what are you selling, then? Oh, hello, Maud. We're here to tell you about a life beyond life that can only be reached through the principles of the Etheric Foundation. And I'm here to tell you that I've got enough to worry about in this life, thank you very much. I'll let the next one look after itself. Oh, but it won't. And what's more, it'll be here sooner than you think. Are you telling me that at my age... You're wasting your breath. Can I interest you in the Crystal of Nirab? It harmonises the beneficial forces of the universe to bring you both physical and spiritual peace. Oh, aye. And will it help me to win the lottery? <laughs> yeah, well, we don't know the full extent of its powers. Come on, let's go somewhere else. I'll see you later, Ashley. Yeah, and, um, uh, good luck with, uh, well, well, whatever you're doing. Nice to see you again, Ashley. And you. Goodbye, Maud. Goodbye. Come on. So that's what she's got herself into, then. Life beyond life and magic stones round her neck. He's doing her good, though. He's getting her out and she's meeting different people. Well, I only hope she's got the sense not to rely on any of them or on a magic stone. And she's already got someone she can rely on and she's not going to find better. What are you doing here? We need to talk, which we can hardly do over there. Well, I told you, I've got to get to the bank. Look, I've tried to see things from your point of view. I mean, OK, he's your son, you want to do everything you can for him. Yeah, I do. He's also a drug dealer and a liar. He's lied from the minute he set foot in here, so now he's telling you he wants 4,000. Well, how do you know? Because he's telling you. Yeah. But everything else has been a lie, why not this? Well, it might be, but that's a chance I've got to take. Because what's the alternative that I tell him I won't help him and then he gets beaten up again? He won't. He might. And how can I live with that? All right, you give him the 4,000. If I can, yeah. Well, then what? In, in three months, in six months, he comes back, he wants another four. What then? Then... Well, he won't, will he? Because I'll make it clear that this is the last. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Look, you saying yes now, all you're saying is that he can come back whenever he likes with some sob story and you'll do it again. Yes, I might. Because he's my son, Des. Which is why I've tried to see things from your point of view. You, you go along with what you want. But I'll tell you something, it's got to work two ways. Oh, you mean I go along with everything you want? I mean, we've got to pull together. Yeah, well, on everything else, but not on this. I'm sorry, Des, but that's how it is. I've got to go. Now, you, you're sure you're not having second thoughts about this door? Because, I mean, it can always be bricked up, you know. No, I'm not having second thoughts, Alec. And I don't want it bricked up again. 
I just don't want you wandering through unannounced, as I'm sure you don't want me doing. Yeah, well, I, I can see we both might want a bit of privacy. That's all I'm saying. I shall ring. <laughs> I shall ring and ask if my presence would be welcome. All right, but don't go funny on me if I say no. When do I go funny? You're doing it now. Alec, it's a woman's privilege to say no, and one I intend to take full advantage of. Yeah, all right, all right. I, I actually, I'm going away for a couple of days, so you'll have the run of the entire establishment. I should be quite happy with my own half, thank uh, you. I, I'm going down to see Vicky. She's working in an hotel in London. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. I, uh, I shan't say anything about our little arrangement, mm. you know. Well, they're, they're easily shocked, aren't they? The young. Hello? Stephen. You said something about you might want my help or something? Yeah, I might do. But in the meantime, your mother's coming round a bit before she goes. I thought it'd be a good idea if, when she did come round, she saw us both together without knocking lumps out of each other. Reckon we can do that, do you? Well, a week ago I would have said not. But now that your mother's leaving, things are different. It makes you realise how few people there are left in the world that mean something to you. What, you mean she's gone? Andy's not coming back and it's just me and you left, yeah? Something like that, yeah. But you can go out the front door any time you like. There's precious little I can do to stop you. Nah. I'll hang about until Mum's gone. Good man. Now, we'll then get a beer while we're waiting. Hiya. Hi. I've got some mince that was on its last legs. I'll do some spaghetti bolognese if you like. Yeah, great. You haven't forgot our veggie? No, we haven't. I'll do you some without the meat. So how'd you go on with your crystals and that? Mm, sold a few. Bet Maud thought we were right with a load of loonies. Ah, oh, you know Maud. She won't be right impressed if she's himself walked in. Oh, so she did think we were a load of loonies. Well, I don't care. Folk can think what they like. I don't have to stay around here, you know. There'll always be a place for me at Foundation if everyone around here thinks I'm off me trolley. What are you saying that for? Nobody thinks that. Yeah, they do. One in this house for a start. Look, Zoe. You can't expect everyone to believe the same as you. No matter where you go, there'll always be someone that'll have different views. Not at Foundation. At Foundation, everyone thinks same. So you've got no one laughing at you behind your back. No one's doing that, honestly not. Hiya. Hiya, I was wondering where you got to. Oh, I've just done a bit of shopping. She is, as being from the start. Well, go on then. Have another go at me, why don't you? Nobody's gonna have a go at you. <sighs> Leanne is, aren't you? No, I'm not. And I'm sorry if you've gone on a bit. I shouldn't have. See? Yeah, well, you're saying that now. Yeah, but I've been thinking about it all day. And just to prove it, look, I bought this. Thought we could make a night of it. Unless you're out with foundation. No, I'm not. But you won't say out to them, will you? Because I don't think I'm supposed to have alcohol. No, they won't know about it. I guess we had to go. I'm sorry, I am sorry if I've gone on. It's all right. Some of it strikes me as a bit daft. This is it, then? <laughs> yeah, I have to fit everything in. Shall I start loading up, then? And then will you have a drink before you go? Yeah, a small one. It's going to be late enough when we get there as it is. I can't believe it. We're on our way. <laughs> yep. What will I do if it all goes wrong? Then you'll come back. Yeah, I will. No, I won't, because it's not going to go wrong, is it? And you're going to come and see us. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> Bring you up to date on all the gossip. Even what they're saying about me. Uh, especially what they're saying about you. I don't believe it. They said they never lend money to people expecting to sell their homes because the sale often falls through. You said you'd sold it already. Practically sold, not 100%. According to the bank, if the sale does fall through, then I'm left with a loan I can't pay back. I don't believe it. Yeah, you're going to have to, aren't you? So what am I going to do? I don't know, and I'm sorry. I need that money. Hey. I know, and I tried to get it. Yeah, but you didn't try hard enough, did you? Hey, who the hell do you think you are? It's all right. No, it's not all right. You think you can talk to your mother like that? Let me remind you, it's my house, you're talking to my wife. So all right, I'll go. Good. Yeah, you do that. No, please, Tony, please, don't go. You heard him. It's his house. Let's all just calm down, shall we? Let's just calm down and, and, and think about what we're going to do. I'm not having him talking to you like that. Well, he won't anymore, will you? Will you? No. 
Oh, well, I must say, it's nice to see you in here again. Well, I was going to wave you off anyway. Right, well, I'd best be going. We're running late as it is. All the best, Elizabeth. I hope you're both very happy. Thank you. Thank you for saying that from the bottom of my heart. And for everything else. We were good together, you know? We were good. Very good. I'm sorry. Right then, son. I just swear I'm going to need you. I want you to get me out that door. I want to get on my feet. Wave her a goodbye. Well, you just want me to push you out then? Uh, just get me out there and then stand close. In case these bloody legs give way. You promised me. Oh, don't start that again. I know I did. I tried. I went to the bank and they wouldn't lend me any money. But did you, though? I mean, I don't know that. You might just be saying it. You what? She might not have been anywhere near her. She's only saying it to get rid of me. Right. That is it. Where are you going? I'm going to the police. Tell them everything I know about him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why are you saying that? He's got no respect for you. He tries to con you out of money, then calls you a liar when you can't get it for him. No, I'm going to the police. And I'm going now. Well, I won't be here when you get back. I mean it. You go to the police and I won't be here when you get back. Hey, you're the best friend anybody could ever have. <laughs> and ring me. Let me know you've got there. Don't worry, I'll make sure she does. Ah, should be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. Let me go, Stephen. Well, no, hold on to no, me. No, 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 let me go. She's got to see me stand. Right. I'd be the last. Last time she ever sees me. Mom! Mom! Hey! He's standing. Jim's standing. Do you want to get out? No. No. We're going. Go on! All the best.